most of you know that this is a period of thanksgiving and a lot of churches are actually doing their thanksgiving so yesterday peter obi the current governor of enugu state the previous governor of enugu state and some other top dignitaries all were at um, the diocese of enugu where they celebrated thanksgiving of one of the greatest um i don't know how to pronounce the name but i'm just going to um check from the title now they, they, they shared a whole lot the governor had a wonderful speech here's a video don't forget to subscribe has also the rare honor of being the home of the diocese where our celebrant its excellency most reverend dr anthony Uji, served eminently and retired So I thank you all most sincerely for gracing this event, celebrating the 50th anniversary of Most Reverend Anthony Uji. One of the principal faults of mankind is that we have a tendency to underestimate what we have and only begin to recognize its value after we have lost it. This tends to make us recognize and eulogize our best after they are no more with us. So once in a while, when we gather to give accolades to our Chiba while they are yet alive, I consider it not only commendable, but worthy of celebrating. I will not attempt to bore you with what you already know, and I uh, choose not to regurgitate what had already been said, the sparkling credentials and the episcopal strides that our celebrants today have accomplished. We would only draw inspiration from those strides. What is, however, constant in our celebrant's profile are the mileages of accomplishment in the service of God and humanity. As I said, I believe we must continue to draw inspiration from those strides of his life. The church and humanity can never forget in a hurry his lordship immense contributions society. His lordship has never been selfish with the deep knowledge he has been privileged to gather, taking advantage of his various posts, first as a teacher at the St. Paul's Minor Seminary Benin, and subsequently as a principal at St. Paul's Grammar School, Ebu, Delta State, where he imparted his store of knowledge to our younger ones. Now from Isele Ubu, his lordship continued to place the train through the Diocese of Enugu. Among many other things, laying the foundation for initiatives like the Godfrey Okoye University, which, which is today one of the leading private universities in the country. Again, another example 
his lordship evident pechant for Pagwa. We've been greeted here today with all the great work he's doing with the new evangelization, which has gained him the subject of the father of new evangelization in Africa. So in closing, I would like to once again, on behalf of the government of Enugu State, express our desire of us, and we are truly blessed to have him among us. Thank you, Your Lordship, for a lifelong dedication to duty and service of the Lord and of humanity. We pray that God will continue to bless you with strength and good health, and you will finish well. Thank you. 